Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. How are you? You're looking beautiful. Absolutely just... What is that? Yeah. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We're going to be talking about 12 different fragrances today. So we're going to try to move through this a little bit quicker than usual. I talk too much. I realize that, but we're still going to make an effort. Masculine fragrances for the modern man. Got a really nice mix here, mix match. We've got niche fragrances, we've got designer fragrances, some a little bit on the fresher side, some more on the powerful, darker side. Darker side, like we're talking about Star Wars or something, but yeah, 12 different fragrances, gonna have you smelling awesome. Let's jump into it. I'll have these each linked in the description below. Feel free to check them out down there. And also, you want to know a fragrance that's great for the modern man that will release your inner alpha. Terra Nova. This is a fragrance that I creatively directed, which is actually nominated for Men's Fragrance of the Year by the Fragrance Foundation. Fragrance of last year, technically, because it came out last year, but yeah. And it's up there with big boys from YSL and uh, Valentino to a whole bunch of other fragrance houses. So it's like little, little me yeah, you're getting crushed by them. Ugh. But yeah, Terra Nova, I absolutely love it. Super versatile, huge compliment puller. It's in every Perfumania, every fragrance outlet in the country, in the United States. So if you have one nearby, jump in there, check it out. And also it's available at Michael Mullo's website, which is linked down below. Gent Scents will get you 20% off, off the website. Okay, let's jump into it. First fragrance, this one was a bit hard to find for a while, but as of this video, you can find it at discounters for about 45 bucks or so. And it is from John Varvatos. It is Dark Rebel Rider. Unfortunately, it's big brother, Dark Rebel. That one's a whole lot harder to find. Uh, that one, yeah. Discontinuations, it happens. This is bold and it really does have that alpha aspect to it. It's a leather scent. The leather is right there in the forefront. I mean, you can just smell from the atomizer and get like a big whiff of leather jacket from this, which I guess not a surprise when you take a look at the bottle and it legitimately has a little leather jacket that you can unzip kind of. <laughs> over the outside of the bottle. I'm gonna leave the jacket on. It's also got cacao and some resins in here. Cacao being chocolate, of course. So it's got that sweetness and warmth that does help offset the leather a little bit, but you still do need to wear this with confidence because first and foremost, as the bottle shows you, it's a leather scent. I know some people are scared of leather fragrances, but that one, all things considered, is pretty easy to wear and it's gonna set you apart a lot from the people out there wearing Dior Sauvage. No offense to your Sauvage. Next one is Parfums de Marley's Layton. I mean, what can you say about Layton? This is one of the most popular men's niche fragrances that has ever been made. And one of the big reasons for that is because this stuff is just a compliment monster. People love Layton. I have even matched my shirt to the bottle. Not on purpose. Lavender, apple, cardamom, vanilla, some of the notes in here. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's sexy. It is perfect for a night out. And it even has a nice amount of sophistication. And it's the type of scent that will definitely have other people around you intrigued as to what you're wearing. If you don't want to pay full price for Layton, you can get Detour Noir from Al Haramein, much cheaper, and gets you pretty close to how Layton smells. Alternatively, you can get Amber Oud Exclusive Blue, which looks very similar to Haramein's Amber Oud Blue Edition, so don't get those confused but Amber Oud Exclusive Blue is an amazing alternative to Leighton as well. From there, we hop on over to Christian Dior with Dior Homme 2020. A reinterpretation, a reimagining, a relaunch of the Dior Homme line. Dior Homme 2020 basically got rid of the iris that Dior Homme was known for and instead made this into a modern uh, woody scent. So very contemporary. It has bergamot, it has cedar, a good amount of ISOE super. The versatility is unmatched. You can wear this anytime, daytime, nighttime, any season. Also a huge compliment puller. Dior Homme 2020 uh, got a lot of hate when it came out because of that iris change, including for myself. Uh, but if you give this a chance, man, it is just absolutely killer. From one woody fragrance to another, the next one is from Bentley and it's Wild Vetiver. Now this is from their Beyond collection, which is basically their higher end fragrances. Bentley is most well known for Bentley for Men Intense and uh, Absolute, some of those fragrances that you can pick up around you know, $35 and have 
uh, some similarities to other more expensive fragrances, but these are a step above those. A little bit higher end, as I said, the presentation is a little bit nicer. This one is very bold, very masculine, and extremely classy. If you don't like vetiver, you probably won't like this one, but if you do like vetiver, you're in for a good time. It has vetiver, of course, bergamot, and verbena as some of the notes in the fragrance, along with a bit of black pepper. And the perfumer for this one is Sidney Lancassure, who is very well known for doing a lot of big hits for By Killian. And this one, even though it is quite expensive at retail, you can typically find at discounters for around 60, 70 bucks. Now I know that's not cheap, but for a high-end vetiver fragrance that you can wear year round, it's a pretty good price, all things considered. Perfect for the office or any situation where you wanna smell a little bit more sophisticated. And let's switch it up to something very different. Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Parfum. Now this one is one of those sweet compliment pullers that younger guys or middle-aged guys can both pull off. And we've got some more of those coming up here in a little bit. Big departure from Dior Homme 2020, from Wild Vetiver. Apple, black pepper, labdanum, some of the notes in the fragrance. And because it's a Spice Bomb Night Vision fragrance, get it, the green, Night Vision, uh, they throw in a whole bunch of green notes in there just because. Green apple is one of them, but there's also pistachio among other notes because I don't know about you, but when I'm spraying my fragrance on, I'm like, you know what, man? This could use a little bit of pistachio. Just a, just a little bit of that green nut. Now there's also Night Vision Eau de Toilette, which is also a compliment puller that trends more youthful than the Eau de Parfum and also has kind of an Invictus -y scent profile to it. But between the two, the Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum, I think the EDP is much better. This will absolutely crush it on a night out. So if you're looking for attention, check this out. Let's go back to niche with Amouage Boundless. This one has tobacco, cardamom, and myrrh. And uh, also, since this is niche, and I got a few other niche coming up, you shop at LuckyScent.com, use the code GENTS2023, good from April 1st till the end of June for 10% off your order, GENTS2023. TwistedLily.com and uh, MaxAroma.com, GENTS10 is the code for 10% off. Save on those niche fragrances. But anyway, Boundless. This is a tobacco fragrance. It is a sweet, spicy tobacco very wearable, easy to pull off, warm, luxurious, captivating. It smells great. And uh, don't be afraid of this. I know Amouage, some people you get a little antsy. They, they think that, mm, we're gonna be tough to wear, man. I don't wanna spend that much money for a fragrance that I'm gonna wear like once a year or never a year. Boundless though, easy during fall and winter time. And between that and the other tobacco fragrances, uh, that Amouage has released, like Royal Tobacco or Journey. I think Boundless is probably the easiest one to pull off. Let's go on to Isimiyake next, Nui DC. Now this is Nui DC Parfum. Also the original Nui DC would work just as well. So this is the type of fragrance that's going to be more mysterious, that's going to pull people in. It's gonna have that, that classiness to it, but a, a sex appeal as well. Woody and spicy. I got a little leather in there, some incense, you know, a little bit of smoke. But Isimiyake fragrances almost across the board for fall and winter time are just absolutely outstanding. And where that all really kicked off with the Nui DC line is still just as good. I know all the hype has gone to like Pulse of the Night, which for good reason, really good, and Noir Ombre and Or Ensemble and a bunch of the other fragrances from the house, but the original Nui DC still works. Let's keep it with black bottles up next. Man in Black from Bulgari. Still got a couple fresh ones to come, so don't worry if you're waiting for those. Bulgari Man in Black gets compared to Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf, which is another fragrance that would work well in this list. Man in Black though switches things up a bit. It has that spice, just like Spice Bomb. So when you spray this on, you're gonna be like, yeah, it is a bit similar. But as this one, dries down, you get rum in there, this very nice booziness, it even has a touch of iris in there, which uh, Man in Black a little bit ahead of the curve because a lot of fragrances nowadays coming out have iris, just not at the forefront as kind of a supporting role, really fleshing things out. Man in Black did it first. So another one that is bold with big time performance and is also a compliment puller, Man in Black, very good. Let's get some fresh stuff going here. Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Yeah, this smells completely different after you've smelled all these other things and catch a whiff of that, it's like, whoa, yeah. 
great for spring and summertime. This DNA, extremely popular, still works very well, and a lot of fragrances out there, you can draw a comparison from them to Chanel Olorome Sport. They've drawn inspiration, you could say, from this fragrance. That's what we like to say in the fragrance world, right? I'm inspired by that fragrance. Ah. So Olorome Sport, it is a creamy kind of citrus. It's got nice depth to it, nice body to it, you could say, which gives it more versatility. In the cooler months, you can still wear that. Some fresh fragrances, they're too airy. You think, ah, you know, it's just gonna float away off my skin as soon as I spray it on if it's cold outside. Don't have that problem with this one. But at the same time, it's not so heavy that it doesn't work during the warmer months also. So amazing versatility with this one. Let's uh, switch it up and go with Histoire de Parfum next. 1740 Marquis de Sade. Yeah, this one is a little more adventurous than a lot of the other fragrances in this list today. It has leather and patchouli, along with a little citrus there off the top, but not too much. I mean, you can look at the coloration there and know that you're in for something that's got a punch to it, and it does. Now, you do have some labdanum in here. You have some vanilla in here. So as it dries down, you do have some sweeter, warm notes that help offset that leather a little bit because that is one thing that happens with leather fragrances is if there's not something in there to balance it, sometimes it will get too out of touch for people. You know, it'll get too animalic. It'll get too out there. And you'll think, man, I, I just can't wear it. It's too dirty. It's too this, it's too smoky, it's too that. Now this is a little more challenging, a little more bold, a little more adventurous, like I said, than the other things here. But as long as you're familiar with leather scents, you're comfortable with them, this is a killer very powerful and definitely a memorable scent, that one. Okay, a couple extras here, you know, to get us to 12. Why Le Parfum from Yves Saint Laurent. This one has that great balance of fresh and sweet, along with a little bit of woodiness. It's like a somewhat classier, more grown up take on Y Eau de Parfum. Some people are gonna prefer Y Eau de Parfum with that additional sweetness over Y Le Parfum, and Y Le Parfum is crazy expensive. So I would pick this up from discounters. At full retail, this one goes for almost 200 bucks for a 100 mil size bottle. Definitely pick it up from a discounter. Even though it's still gonna be expensive there, at least it's less expensive overall. Versatility here through the roof, like you would expect from a Y fragrance. Big, big compliment puller. The only thing that you could possibly, in my opinion, kind of rag on this for is the similarity to Y EDP, but there is a strong possibility, depending on what you're looking for, that that would work much better for you than YEDP. And again, if you're just looking for people to think that you smell sexy, yeah, that's one of the best. Last fragrance, let's keep it fresh to end this list. Aqua de Jo Profundo Lights. Actually, I'm gonna make this my fragrance of the day. Ooh, ooh. Very fresh, aquatic, of course. I mean, it is an Aqua de Jo. Yeah, you get this wonderful green, a mandarin orange that opens it up. So you get this this citrus that's very lively, that does have a little natural feel to it. You know, it's not just sweet on top of sweet here. Got more nuance, more depth to it, and I really appreciate that. It's almost revitalizing. You know, it has that, that brightness when you spray it on where it just kind of wakens you back up. It has just the right amount of classiness to it without it coming across smelling too stuffy. So you get this great mix of classy, sophisticated, and fresh. Wonderful fragrance, gets overlooked a little bit, for Profundo, which I mean, of course, I love Profundo, but Profundo Lights does its own thing very well. It's a flanker of a flanker done right. So there we go, 12 masculine scents for the modern man. Got some fresh, some not as fresh, some a little more challenging, some extremely easy to wear, wonderful scents. Thank you guys for hanging with me here. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.